Hey guys, this is Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 14 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. And there's a big reed in my face. Get your reed out of my face! Okay, so in the, la in the end of the last episode, um, we were quite creeped out by some strange events that happened. But we're just gonna forget about all that and move on with the temple! Yes! First temple! Oh my god, it took me so long to get here, but... Oh my god, don't fall in the water, thank you. Yeah, and so let's leave all this amazing purpleness and just spin on in. Alright, so yeah, we had a teaser of this temple in the last episode, but I didn't actually do any of it. Okay, um, first things first, we're going to get our Great Fairy's Mask here. And here's what the Great Fairy's Mask can do for you. If there's a great, uh, not a great, a stray fairy that you can see like that, then you put on the Great Fairy's Mask... It makes a little doo -doo 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 sound, and it gets drawn to you. That's my first stray fairy ever, and also in this temple. All right, that is a, not a stray fairy. That's just a normal fairy, so we can deal with that. I don't need it in a bottle or anything. Okay, I think yeah. There's not much to this room in particular. I think there might be a stray fairy over there. I think it is conceivable that there would be a stray fairy over here, and it looks like there is. Oh, oh, yay! Yes, sometimes stray fairies are in chests. How they don't suffocate is beyond me. I, maybe they do suffocate, and since they're fairies, they just keep themselves alive or, or turn, become alive again. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, um, actually, I kind of want to shoot that thing down. You must die, you stupid beehive! Roar! Did that give me anything? Uh, no, I thought it might, I thought there might be a stray fairy in there, but I guess I was mistaken. I was just being so silly. Oh, I'm not going to make that. What am I thinking? Oh, oh, my God, I did make it. Jeez. Some of these jumps almost seem like impossible to make, but somehow you do, so. Yeah, that was a great first room, wasn't it? So intense and riveting. Oh, and by the way, uh, I should show this. When a room is clear of stray fairies, this fairy, the great fairy's hair is mask. That was a strange sentence, but it will not sparkle or anything, so take note of that. Alright. Ugh, that stench. This place stinks just like that poison swamp. Probably because it's the same water from the poison swamp, I don't know. Probably leaked in from the top as it was rising from the depths of the deep dark abyss. Alright, so there's... Stray fairies in here, as you can tell, by the sparkly hair. And one of them is in these pots down here. Let's see, which one will it be? There it is. Yay. I'm just so smart, aren't I? Alright, there might be one in one of these pots, too. I'm not sure of this one, though. No, of course not. Well, fine, then. Yeah, by the way, do not, whatever you do, take off your Deku mask on this flower. I'll do it once just to show you what happens. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm a... Uh, what the... What? Why is there green... There was like green blood coming out of there. Wow. I got up here. Damn it, I need like fire... A fire stick or something. Oh god. No, no, I forgot the poison. I forgot, I forgot the water was poison. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got so scared there. I thought I was going to die from like the plant and everything. Yeah, somehow I guess I can sense that we're Deku Scrub and that we are friend, not foe. We're friend no matter what form we're in. Yeah, yeah. I'm being a little sappy. Alright. Locked door over here. Nothing we can do about that quite yet. Oh, look at that. I actually forgot about that one. Okay. So that's the fourth stray fairy, I guess. Sweet. I don't know, I might do something, like, some kind of awesome editing project about the stray fairies to show all, like, all the locations of them in each temple. I don't know. I'll think about it. That sounds like an interesting plan. Hmm. Alright. So if we head over here and dive, dive, dive! Jump up and float over here. I think we can make this. Yeah, we're, we can totally make that. Look at that, man. And... We got a key! Booyah! Oh my goodness. It feels so... It's been so long since I've said that. Jeez. Or, like, even gotten a key and said anything about it. 
God damn. Not since the last Temple of Ocarina of Time did, have I said that. It's pretty crazy. Alright, what am I doing? I need to be here so I can go and fly to the other area. Yay! We. Does it, like, fall through the water and hit the bottom, or did it, like, explode on the surface of the water? I couldn't tell. Well, wait. Ah, ah! Open the door. Uh-oh. There's turtles! Sad crap! No! Ah. Alright. So you have to beat all of these stupid turtles. And how you do that? You wait for them to come over to you, and just like that, it takes a little bit of skillful timing. It takes, like, 1,337 timing. But if you do it correctly, then you will just shoot up right beneath them and launch them into the air. And somehow that just kills them, I guess. I guess it would be quite painful, wouldn't it? Just to... It's like an uppercut, except it goes to your stomach instead of your jaw. Yeah, you missed. You fail. You are a failure, Mr. Franklin. Alright. And... Do we get anything for that? Yes, show sure enough. Oh my goodness, I love that sound effect. I haven't heard it in so long. Jeez, oh yay. Hop into the chest, little Link. Little Linky Poo. And there's the map of this dungeon. Not that we need it, because I know where I'm going. What do you think, am I stupid? Okay, so we're gonna go work our way back to the main room, I guess, now. Since we're all done here. Yeah! Run! Oh my god, can we make that? Yes! My epic final spinning jump of awesome made it, managed to make it. Alright, so there we go, that's... Wait, did I pick up that digging nut because it got, like, trapped behind the door of my... I don't know, I probably did. Alright, whoa. This looks pretty light. Well, it'll just stand there. Press A to grab it and use the control stick to move it. It looks pretty light. What are you talking about? It's a, it's a stone block. It's a massive stone block. It's all, it's like four times the size of Deku Link, and somehow we can still push it. And for some reason, it has a picture of Majora's Mask on it. Come on, I know I can hit that. What are you talking about? Ew! Did that make like a snot bubble up there? Ew! I thought, I thought it was like a snot bubble hanging down or something. Oh my god, it's a bee. Die. Oh, I should have, like, scanned that. Why do I keep saying scan? You don't scan enemies in this game. Okay, does that give me anything? Stray fairy! I knew that one of those had a stray fairy in it. So that's number five. Five alive! Alright, on, um, go away. Whoa, what the... What the hell just happened there? I like jumped and landed and who knows? Don't question these things. How I just can't wait. What? You don't even know what about the sculpture? It's protected by a hard shell, so it's like a soft. Ow! You're so mean. Meanie, I'm gonna hit you with a bubble. In the back. In the belly of the beast. Oh, it has a stray fairy too. Wow. I almost kind of forgot that enemies could actually drop stray fairies. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe the stray fairies should bring the enemies back to life. You know, add a little bit of extra challenge to the game. Because this game is not hard at all. No way, man. Unless you're going through it blind, of course. And most games are hard if you're going through them blind. Unless you have elite skills. I've already made the elite skills joke in this, in this video, haven't I? I believe I have. Alright. So let's go ahead and roll over here with our awesome fire stick. It's a fiery, fiery, flamey fire. And that opens the door. Yay. Good old Zelda logic. Torches opening doors and everything. Alright, so we got some dragonflies here. Let's just destroy them. You stupid dragonfly. Get your face out of my place. Okay. Yeah, I have to be honest with you guys. I'm not really in the mood to be recording this right now, but... You know, I haven't recorded in a long time, and... I didn't... I thought it was going to be worse than it was, because it's like... I thought it would be all grouchy, and I'd be like, Damn, this forest temple! Oh my god, it's so stupid! 
this, will this stupid dragonfly just come over? Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. But yeah, I thought it was going to be like a real grouch during this whole thing, and it would have been really terrible, but it's been pretty fun so far. Even though the fact that I don't want to do it at the moment just makes me seem boring. Like this, because I talk so monotonously. Monotonously, rather. And could this really be the compass? Wow. That was rather fast to get the dungeon map and the compass. I guess they're usually fairly early in the dungeon, though. But I remember in, like, one dungeon, they're, like, not... Or, like, at least the compass isn't until the very end or something. I don't know. Maybe my memory is faulty. Or maybe I'm just right. Maybe maybe the compass is the dungeon's treasure. Wouldn't that be something? It's like the magic compass. Oh, God. Run away. Wait, what am I doing over here for? No. Why are these stupid moths hitting me? How, Link, you can't be hurt by moths. Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm going to kill those moths. And you know how? Just like this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Are you ready for this? You ready for this? Ready for this? Watch it go boom! Pwned. Oh, wait. More came. Never mind. Alright. What am I? No. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm so flustered. Okay. Get out your Deku sticks, buddy. Just like that. What happens if I run out of Deku sticks? Then I'm fucked. Alright, oh, the moths aren't coming after me this time. I guess there weren't more. I was hallucinating. Yay! Okay, um, there's some things here. You can get Deku nuts and Deku sticks and stuff here. You can grind, if that's really your thing. Whoa, spiral staircases. Those are new. Be careful, I sense a lot of evil here. Yes, it is quite dark, actually. Can't see a damn thing. Oh my god, what the hell are those? Wait, wait, gotta get info. That's, it's a black bow. Bow? Just calm down and attack it. Looks like there are just, look, there are just a lot of them. That's all. That's all? Really? Just a lot of them? Well, fine. If they're, if they're not really deadly or anything, then I'll just kill them all. Kill the innocent little buggers. Black bows? Oh my god. Isn't like the mayor of Twilight and Twilight Princess named Bo or something. I think it's spelled differently, but still. I doubt there's any resemblance, though. Or any relation. Relationship. Okay, I know there's more around here, because something happened when you killed all them. Oh, I saw them. Get over here, you stupid black bows. You must die. Uh, I can probably use Deku nuts on them. Probably the flash of light alone will kill them. But I had no need. Because I'm just cool like that. Yeah, so the sparkles make the chest appear and open it for a stray fairy. So you don't actually need to do that. I thought you did, but apparently not. Just if you're going for 100% or awesome treasures that await from these fairies. Yeah, so apparently all you have to do is light all the torches in this room. I believe there are three that I have to light. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So, now that we've done that, ooh, we're nearing the end of the episode here. I wonder how far I can get within the remaining time. Oh, this room? I don't think there's any stray fairies in this room, but I'm just gonna check. Okay, there are not. Wow, I went, that went speedy. I just saw that in, like, the blink of an eye. I was, that there were no sparkles on my mask, so... Yep. And by the way, I'm still gonna be doing that thing where, uh, in temples, I don't give a proper intro and outro. I'm just going to go all the way through it, make it as fluent as possible in the temples, so that I don't suck completely. Alright. Okay, so we have to make it over there, but we can't fly that far. Was there, sh is there, does that dragonfly have a shadow on the, in midair? I can't tell, I thought there was something there, but maybe it was a black bow following him. I don't know. Shut up. Jeez, who pissed in my cornflakes? Alright, 